Are you ready to go? Ready to drive? Let's do this. A lot of people, when they see Kelly looking at the window and enjoying driving, they wonder how did I train Kelly to be so good doing van life? And the reality is that I didn't train Kelly to be good driving in the car very young. The first time she did van life with me, she was around three years old. Kelly is a rescue cat. I find her while I was living inside a house going for my usual night walk and I found this beautiful little cat who was around eight months old and just ran straight at me. I did some phone call like everyone would do to try to find the owner. The neighbor were telling me that she was just walking in the street for the past couple days and most likely someone would just dump her there and left her there. Today I wanted to cover one of the questions that I hear so much during my road trip, especially in a meetup, and is what I did to make Kitty so comfortable uh, be in the van with me. And I just want to say that Obviously not every cat's gonna be comfortable living in the van. Uh, like not every dog will be comfortable living in the van as well. A cat, most of them need a lot of like security, uh, feel like they know the place and all this. But I train three cats now, uh, kind of be comfortable or a little bit more comfortable, I would say, to travel. I had two previous cats that were doing a big moving trip and I trained them and obviously Kitty. Kitty was quite easy but still at the beginning was not as beautiful and cute as you <laughs> see right now. She was a little bit more nervous uh, uh, inside the van so I wanted to do a little video today talking about this. Uh, I made two previous videos one talking about van life basic with the cat uh, i'm gonna leave all of them by the way and the other one is how to walk you cat on leash uh so i want to kind of finish the topic about cats and all of this with this one so i just want to say that i used to be a dog trainer and we i trained my cats the same way that i train dogs uh so this can work for a dog who's a little bit nervous inside a car so first thing and you have to go slow in every process, super important, remember this. Uh, if you make your, make your cat uncomfortable, uh, there's a good chance that problem will happen and it never go, you will always remember that bad experience and make everything worse. So first, obviously if you have the youngest, the cat, better chance that'll work if you have a cat who always enjoy going outside explore used to all the noise good chance it'll work better too as well that if you have a cat who's inside an apartment and you know never never of his own shadow it's gonna be more complicated it may never even work so bring the cat inside your vehicle your cat's probably gonna be nervous make this experience the best that you can. Play with your cat, give it treats, make this as beautiful as you can. Don't go anywhere, just go inside your car and make this step perfect. Do it every day until your cat is totally fine be inside this vehicle and think it's the most amazing thing on her because you make it so much playful and with treats, with playtime and all of this. You want some treats? Yes. So yeah, make sure this experience of being inside the vehicle is as fun as possible. Treats, playtime, cuddle, everything that your cat love the most. And do this until your cat is super comfortable. So when that step is done, that your cat feels comfortable, you can pass step number two, I will call it, which is only to turn the radio on. Don't go anywhere, don't move the van, your car, just put the radio on. Beep. 
So uh, you cat may be nervous by the sound of just the radio. Again, doing the same process, make your cat comfortable, give treat, playtime, favorite toys, whatever you need, uh, just to make that step comfortable and do it again every day so it is kind of ritual that you can get and uh, the faster you can progress with all those steps because you're gonna see uh, things can take some time uh, some steps might go faster some steps may go slower but really 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 I want to specify that take your time after that you can turn the engine on Again, same process again and again and again. Make your cat comfortable until this process is done. And after that, you can start doing a small, not even a road trip, I'm gonna say a star, start super small around the block. Uh, just again, that you cat's comfortable about moving. Some cat may need to be inside a crate. Uh, a lot of cats feel in fact more comfortable inside their little crate so if you feel like something that you cat might need please give it to it um, I want to say something too as well be super 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 careful when you open the door your cat might want to escape I see that often Kitty was a little bit like this at the beginning a little bit on the escape side um, there's a couple things you can do put your cat inside a crate would be one I saw one girl she was putting a cat with a leash be just be super careful that you know the cat doesn't tangle itself with the leash and might you know cause problem that we don't want to happen or you can block the back of your van to the front so your cat will stay in the back you put it in the back when you drive or when you are away um, and so it will not like come when you drive uh, Katie is super good. She doesn't come to the area when I'm driving. She know <laughs> She learns super fast that it's not the place that I want her to go um, But yeah, if you have a cat that a little bit more on the escape side or Really move a lot when you drive things like this be safe uh, Put in the cr in crate or block your front from uh, the back from your front so you don't get any problem uh, uh, last thing I want is one of your cat to uh, you know, live in the middle of parking lot in a gas station and beside the highway and you know what I mean? It's not, it's, it's not what we want. Um, so be super, super, super careful. And some cat might never be good traveling and it's okay. Some dog may never be good traveling and it's okay. We have to understand this. Uh, I am, yes, I am lucky that Katie, she's super good. She love this lifestyle as much as me, but not every cat and not every dog will love it. So uh, be understanding of that part, uh, be understanding that it can take them longer to enjoy this lifestyle too as well. All right, you want to go outside? All right, I hope this helped you guys uh, with your cat. Um, I'm really glad to make finally this video so I can tell people to go watch it and learn from it. I hope you enjoy and obviously I'm gonna let you with the star of the place. Kitty. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching guys. Where is she? She's sleeping. Hmm. You have anything to say to all the cats that's gonna travel in the van? Well, I hope they're gonna have as good as you have. Hmm. And be patient guys. Those little things just want some love, some comfort. You're gonna be your best friend, that's for sure. All right, wanna give a kiss? <laughs> You're so cute, like.